Hey friends, I'm Rock Sudana on this side and in this video tutorial I'm going to teach you how can you embed API.ai Android SDK inside your Android app. So embedding Android SDK of API.ai in your app will give you the functionality to recognize human speech and then convert it to text and then make a request to your api.ai agent using that speech and then your agent will process that speech and after that it will give back the results to your android app so it will happen automatically you just have to do nothing and you just have to uh, embed your sdk in your app and have to call some inbuilt methods so first of all just go to your browser and type api.ai and log into your api.ai account then after that just go to doc section and we will just go with the flow i'm going to read the documentation step by step and then after that we will just be implemented implementing this in our app step by step so after that just go to the past platform section here you can see it is the documentation for sdks then after that go to android sdk docs and the page and this page will be open after you click on that android sdk docs now here we can see the whole docs for embedding api.ai sdk inside your app so after that just make a new project on android studio to implement this functionality so i have made a new project called api, API android sdk just you can name it whatever you want and after that just go to the docs now first of all the first step is to use is uh, use this two permissions in, inside the manifest so write this two permission inside your manifest file so i've already write this so use this permission first for internet and then second for record audio because we are going to record audio we are getting started with your own app this is the documentation so we'll go step by step we have added the two dependencies then after uh, we have added the two uh, permissions then after that we have to add the dependencies so just add first of all add these two dependencies copy this and come to your project and then gradle scripts and then module app level gradle file then after that just paste it here now one more dependency we want is json and also this comments dot i just paste it and then click on sync now and just wait for your project to sync so as you can see the sync has been completed so now the next step would be so the next step is to add the android manifest permissions so we already have done it so now the create a class that implements the ai listener interface so this class will process responses for api.ai so to implement this listener just go to your app and then main activity so we will use our main activity to implement this listener so after that just type implements and what is it ai listener so ai listener so now it is showing an error and it is asking us for to implement some methods so just implement methods and implement all of these methods just click enter and it will automatically implement all the methods so while the, this is implementing so it has implemented so after this that the another step is create an instance of api.ai configuration so just copy this code and go to your Android Studio project. So, so just go to Android Studio project and then go to on create and paste that code. So after that, so what basically we are going to do in this app we just we will just make one button and one text view and then that button will be used to uh, record the human speech and then in the text we will show the result processed by a uh, api.ai agent so after copying this code just go to your activity main.xml and just make a button so this is the relative layout 
so sorry for that uh, Android studio got hang sometimes so just change it change it to linear layout so linear layout and orientation is vertical orientation vertical vertical so after that just add a button button and width would be wrap content and height would also be wrap content then after that just type a text uh, name it on like listen we just named it listen and so that button uh, this button would be used to listen human speech so after that this is a text view just give uh, this button on click attribute so on click after uh, when we click on this button we are going to call a method called call button clicked so this method will be called when we click this button so after the text view text view is already has been made so this text view is just set to blank text so now after that just came to main activity and Override this method called button clicked. Button clicked. So just public. Just type public void button clicked. So view v. And then this is the method that would be called when you click that button so after that just go to the documentation the next step is to make a AI service so just copy this code and paste it here below the above pasted code so context just replace this context to this now after that set the AI listener so set the listener to your AI service so just paste it, this code so what is our listener here the main activity is the listener so just type this now after that start listening button so we have in, in inside the method button click we just have to paste this code this is for start listening uh, uh, when we click this button our android device will start listening to the human voice so just copy this and paste it on button click this is a service cannot be identified so we just have to make it outside this variable so just paste it here and ai service so that's it my friends so now it can identify a service so now the one thing is missing here this is the client access token so we have to retrieve the client access token and this can be fine inside uh, just log into your api today account and just go to the just go to the agent you are going to use for this app and this is the test agent and then after that click on the this icon settings icon then please wait then after that here is it you can find your client access token here so just copy this and just paste it here okay so that's it so now your app is able to listen to the uh, your app is able to listen to the human voice so after your speech has been processed the result this method will be called and you can uh, get your results from this results result variable so uh, so uh, uh, also we are going to sh uh, show this result inside our text view so just access this text view inside your main activity so i'm going to give it an id and name it i gave it id called text view then after that come to your main activity and make a text variable text view t then initiate it t is equal to text view so I just click on text view 
just type the add dot to text you then cause it to text you then after that we have to show the result in our text view so just go to on result method and just click t just type t dot set text and after that first of all just make a result variable result variable just contain the result of our query so result then sorry result r result one okay just import the result and then it is equal to result dot get result then inside this text you just set result one dot get resolved query and this method will just return our query after resolving from human speech then after that just type plus and action and result one dot get action and dot get action So that's it my friends we are done with it we have do everything to embed this sdk inside our app and have a basic functionality now just click click on this run button and uh, this will this app will run in on our android device so one more thing guys your app may crash uh, in Android devices, uh, in having words on greater than 6.0, because we have we need we, we need to have we need to use uh, dynamic permissions in Android for Android devices greater than 6.0 words. So I just followed these links to have dynamic permission. So we just have to write two things. First of all, in the, in in your own create, just copy this code and paste it on your own create. So I would just paste it here. And then after that, make request method. So this is my make request method. So just paste it here. After on create, and, uh, and also remove this log statement and request access code. You can use whatever you want. I would just use it 101. Now after that, one more thing you just have to override and method on request for permission result. So I would just paste this here. So request access code just type it 101 and remove the log tag. So that's it my friends you are done with it now just run your app so now as the apk has been installed on my device so i can see a screen like this so actually it's asking for the dynamic permission so i would just click allow so now after that just click on the listen button and i would say hello and now after processing the data it will just show the results on our text view so we can see that queries and i would say hello so it's recorded the whole sentence so now the action is order.pizza so it is just the action from our order.pizza uh, order.pizza intent so that's it my friends we have embedded uh, all the sdk like cool stuff inside our app and if you have any doubt uh, just uh, type the comment and if you like the video just press the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this thank you